Recently, stocks such as GameStop, Nokia, and AMC went to the moon and back because of traders on the subreddit Wall Street Bets. I wanted to get in on the hype, but I don't have any money, so I put my calculator skills to the test and I cutted a stock market simulator, Wall Street Bets edition. Last year, I coded an investment simulator in TI Basic. TI Basic is a very simple language, so it's hard to make efficient and complex programs with it. This program included general stocks, index funds, and some cryptocurrencies, but you could only hold the things that you bought. There were also a few random events sprinkled in. The new program is in C, so it'll run faster with more complexity. I wanted to use a candlestick chart instead of a line graph because it looks cooler and makes people think that you know what you're doing. Each stick includes the stock's four prices during an interval of time. It's high, low, open, and close. Graphing these values correctly was really hard to figure out, but it turned out to be really satisfying. There was also a glitch where the stock went into the negatives, so my simulation looks somewhat accurate so far. Next, I created a main menu. This had an animated chart and very simple instructions on what the game was about. This time, I gave the player $1,000 instead of 10 to show how people used their stimulus checks. Next came the trading menu. This was pretty straightforward. The player can buy any stock they want as long as they have the money. Now for the fun part. Watching the gains and the losses. Each in-game day, I update the value of the player's portfolio. I really tried to get the candlestick graph to look good here, but it didn't work out so well. So I settled for a line graph and text that changes colors based on the amount of money in the account. The last time I had ever been so frustrated was probably coding my 3D calculator game, which you should totally check out after watching this video. With the portfolio view out of the way, I set out to fix the biggest flaw with my previous investment simulator. I gave the player the opportunity to buy or be paper handed and sell while the simulation ran. Otherwise, there's no real point in playing the game. And with that, the gameplay was completed. After 30 days of investing, the player will see this end screen where they can choose to continue or leave the casino. But I think it's time to test my luck. Wall Street Bed Stock Simulator. This loading animation will never get old. My strategy is to load up on GameStop and AMC shares since everything else is not volatile enough. And we're up $200 on the first day. I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling. I'll buy some Blackberry since it's low and I'll get some Nokia since it's a good price. I'll do a little trading in between but I'll let this run. Alright, let's see how we did. Our best stock was GameStop, and our worst was BlackBerry, which is pretty accurate. We could have made more than the few hundred dollars that we did, but I'm not complaining. Whether or not you gamble your life savings on a single stock, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I have so many new calculator games coming out this year, so you won't want to miss out. If you'd like to try this out for yourself, I have linked the source code and download in the description. It's everyday code for everyday people. Thanks for watching.